Oh boy, we've had some heavy rain. Been checking the numbers. Sunset Ridge, the Pavant Mountains, 4.36 inches since Saturday at 6 p.m. Fish Lake, 3.12 at the Ranger Station. Box Creek on the Severe Plateau, 3.09. The Tusher Mountains picking up 2.31. Salina, 2.24 inches. That's right where I-70 moves through Salina. Junction, 2.09. And Loa picking up 1.71 inches of rain. Now the radar is showing some shower and thunderstorms that are starting to get a little bit uh, active, very active. You can see by Capitol Reef National Park and also to the southwest of Andamone, south of Beaver. Once again, the Tusher Mountains starting to show. Uh, Farron getting a little bit of light rain. And now as we move over into Nevada, this is an area of severe weather that is already forming. There are a number of strong thunderstorms in this region. And some of these thunderstorms are likely to be producing heavy rain in Baker and Lehman Caves and over towards the House Range in the Kings Pass area. Looks like a new thunderstorm has formed on the south side of the Ochre Mountains. Let's get in close on this one because this is going to impact the point of the mountain. It looks like it will cross over into Draper, so could contain some microburst winds and maybe some hail as well as some heavy rain. So be aware of that. Be careful. East of the Wasatch, we've got a thunderstorm near Fruitland and moving along uh, SR 40. Um, I mean, this thing is just really a big storm. And so, as I mentioned, these are some of the rain totals. They're significant because these have happened since Saturday at 6 p.m. And this monsoon season has really played a big factor in how dry Utah has been. We just really haven't seen the monsoon. I've called it a non-soon or a no-show monsoon. But now we're getting active weather and the severe possibilities where you see the green shade here, this zone from Richfield I-70 North and out towards Ely and uh, Wendover, Salt Lake City, Evanston and the Wasatch Front all will be involved in the possibility of strong to severe thunderstorms. Temperatures right now are running 64 at Bear Lake, 67 in Preston, 70 in Kimmerer, 76 in Park City, 86 in Salt Lake, 88 in Tooele. And my friends, uh, yeah, this is going to be very, very active weather for you um, all the way through the next little while. So. Bear with me. <laughs> We're going to get through this. Pop up th thunderstorms across much, many mountains, 93 degrees in St. George. And we're getting those showers and thunderstorms already, like I mentioned, in the south side of the Ochre Mountains. So a pretty good chance we're going to see those today and again tomorrow, a little bit east. And then on Wednesday, it starts to pull away. A ridge of high pressure comes in and we'll start to see a uh, little drying, but more monsoon weather is expected next weekend. 82 in Vernal, 82 in Park City 73 in Evanston. I mean, cooler temperatures, 93 in Salt Lake City. St. George, 98 today with 99 on Tuesday. Chance for showers and storms today. Slight chance over the mountains Tuesday. Drying trend until the weekend when we'll see more monsoon moisture, my friends. Yeah, 93 today in Salt Lake City. Showers and thunderstorms likely. Some will be severe. Tuesday, 88. Chance for showers and thunderstorms, 87. And a slight chance on Wednesday. We get a little break Thursday, Friday before more monsoon does move up north Saturday and Sunday. Let's look at your weather forecast. Now you know. Be prepared and keep an eye to the sky.